In the soon future, I will be welcoming a green and old colony into a man-made tropical ecosystem made up of lush vegetation, coral rockscape, and an auto-controlled weather system. The system will have UV lighting to keep my colony healthy and the environment natural to their origins. The lights being used are a Fluker's basking spotlight for the daytime, creating the perfect basking temperature between 85 and 90 degrees. Ball watches depends on the distance away from the basking area. I also have two thermometers near the basking location and one at the bottom of the tank. For the nighttime, I will be using a Zilla heat bulb, which should keep the ecosystem at about 85 degrees at the top and 75 degrees at the bottom. Vegetation consists of multiple air plants as well as some Spanish moss. Between the coral rocks, I have placed a synthetic moss sold for reptile aquariums. Sentinels prefer high humidity. I have run a reptile humidifier to keep the humidity up in the ecosystem. The humidifier is controlled by a built-in humidity gauge. This will mostly run at night as it is natural to have a higher humidity in the night. And with enough moisture accrued during the nighttime hours, it should hold humidity most of the day. A humidifier should not be consistently run during the day as it can harm your reptilians. At most, I will run it once a day. For a water source, the humidifier will cause some moisture on the vegetation, but I will count on a slow drip system to drip onto a dead palm bark and run down before dripping into a bowl below. The gnolls will find water much quicker if it is dripping. They may not even find it otherwise, depending on your setup. A knoll land family, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the introduction of a brand new green anole colony into the mysterious mountainous jungle now known as a knoll land.